Hello everyone, welcome to the lab. This episode is about Agilent 6612C power supply. This very unit appeared in my video number 5 about 6 years ago. I repaired it and since then I used it around the lab and recently I was going to charge a large battery and silly me reversed the polarity and this thing died. Let me show you the problem. So, if I enable the output, it shows unreg here, and it seems like uh, sinking about uh, amp and a half of current. So, clearly something is very wrong. Let's take a look what happened. Hopefully we can fix it again. Cover off. We have seen this unit before, and several similar units as well, so I am not going to spend time on an overview. Let's get straight to repair. Let's uh, remove this digital board, so we can take a look at the analog board on the bottom. Alright, here is the digital board, and now we can have a look at the analog board. And first of all, there are several fuses on this board, Besides this mains fuse, which is obviously fine, I can see this through hole fuse here, two more through hole fuses here, two surface mount fuses here, and one more surface mount fuse here. And I checked them already, and uh, this through hole fuse seems to be blown. Let's check again. There you go. It seems to be dead. Can it be as simple as a fuse? This is a 4 amp fuse and I happen to have replacement fuses. So let's put one in and see if the power supply works. Solder the replacement fuse like this for now. Let's see if the power supply works, I can worry about the proper installation later. Now look at this. When I enable the output, it looks fine. Now let's try changing the voltage. Let's say 10 volts. Looks fine, let's check it. And volts. Not a full test yet, but looks quite promising. Now let's try the maximum load. 20 volts, 2 amps. Let's go. Looks fine. I believe it's fixed. Now it's time to properly install the replacement fuse. It is not strictly necessary, but I prefer to keep this great piece of equipment nice and tidy. And I decided to do it from the top, because uh, removing this board is a lot of work. So I already desoldered the old uh, fuse from here, and I even sucked the solder out using my paste desoldering iron. So now we have two holes. So, now I can just uh, trim the pins, drop it right there, and solder. It's done. Let's put the power supply back together. The power supply is fixed and back in business. This was a very short video and a simple fix. I hope it was not entirely uninteresting. Thanks for watching. Bye.